All right, so this is from Nicole Hutchinson. She's uh, she's from the the uh, the Discord, right? Yes. She's not suspended. No, no. All right. Is she in the PMS thing? That three? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Hey guys, question for Conan. In Kevin Nash's recent review of Who Killed WCW, you mentioned seeing a clip where he feels you buried him and Scott Hall. Yeah, play this audio. I saw I saw the clip. You got this audio ready, Joe? Yeah. Which do you want to hear? Because she signed okay. a clip too of what she thought Nash was responding to. We'll play them both. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to play Conan first. This is from Busted Open. Who killed WW? After episode right. one, the answer was Hulk Hogan. Because it felt right. like watching that first episode that a lot of that came on, on Hulk Hogan. Justifiably, same time, this you give okay. somebody that freedom to have creative freedom, you're right. probably you're setting yourself up for a fall. And you actually said it too when it came to the NWO. Obviously, the NWA became so big as it was because of Hogan, and it's so true. Like you said it, to quote you from that first episode, I don't see any other WCW shirts other than NWO. NWO is, yeah. you go to a, a show right now, or any wrestling show in any city, anywhere, you're going to see an NWO shirt. Right. And and here you are talking about WCW over 20 years after it's fallen apart and it shut its doors. Like... But let me let me rectify you there. I didn't say it was Hogan. I never thought it was Hogan. I always thought it was Hall and Nash. As a matter of fact, I said Eric hitched his wagon to Hogan instead of the other guys because they were the ones coming up with the cool ideas. They were the cool factor. He's the one that said, bro, they're, I'm getting booed. All right. I got to do something to resurrect my career. And Kevin Sullivan and Eric were the ones that convinced him. They had to sequester him to make sure he didn't change his mind or somebody got in his ear, whatever was going on. But to me, when they fired X-Pac, cause I was there, um, you know, I was friends with them and they were sitting in the arena and they were hot as a, they had a, they had their shirts on. They had like button down shirts and they opened up their shirts and they had uh, WWE shirts and they, they were willing to go up into the ring, open up their shirts, show WWE and support X-Pac. When Eric fired X-Pac, they took their ball and went home, meaning they were not giving any more ideas. They weren't coming in on time. They weren't playing anymore. And just, the, you know, the jealousy and everybody cutting each other's throats, you know, and Hogan was always looking out for himself. That was part of the reason. But there were things I really didn't know, like when they had Brad Siegel and all these other guys saying, well, if you liked wrestling in, in, in Turner, you got heat. You know, like I didn't know it was that bad. There were things that I saw on the show that I really didn't know. It was very informative. All right. Okay. So, okay, we're going to play. The, I'm going to read the email that we're going to play Kevin's clip. All right. In Kevin Nash's review of Who Killed WCW, he mentioned seeing a clip where he feels you buried him and Scott Hall, audio attached. During the clip, he sounds confused as to where he saw this as he didn't notice it in the show. I flicked through the show again and also couldn't find it. However, I did stumble across some articles referencing the interview Conan did with Busted Open. This seems to be what Nash is referencing. Audio attached, and we just listen to it. It is two and a half minutes, but I want to keep LeGreco's part in for context. Does Conan have any comments on what Nash has said? And I'm not sure what he is trying to imply at the end of the clip where Sean Oliver agrees with him. Sorry for this being a long email, but I thought it would be good to address. Thanks, and that's a call from Lossy Mouth, Scotland. P.S. Disco, please say this in a Val Venus voice. Hello, ladies, to Bam and Breezy. Hello, ladies. <laughs> right, but I don't take suggestions anymore. Um, Play the Nash clip, because I, I, I heard this clip, too, and I thought he was a... Uh, I, I think he's kind of, you know... Maybe he did see that, and this is kind of a weird response. So go ahead, deal with you guys. And I All saw a clip episodes. where Conan buried us, saying, uh, "Like when they fired X Pac, we just we we stopped giving ideas and we took our ball and ran and all this other." Maybe that episode a little, was that. In? I I haven't seen it yet, so it's got to be the fourth one. Uh-huh. I hope I I hope it's like a just a, a clip take. that got out there that that didn't make it because I sure as hell would hate to tell the story where. I got creative, some creative input. And like the first thing I did was make sure that he got a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bump. I mean, like day one. So I've got to hope he's not burying us because, but then if he, if he is, then it fit pretty much explains I think like his point of view. Pretty consistent. Yeah, with my impression. So I'll watch the fourth one. All right, that's it. I, I think Kevin d- didn't see the complete. You weren't burying Kevin and Scott. Of course I wasn't. So yeah, that's what I don't I, understand. I think, I think he probably maybe saw th- 
probably didn't hear that whole clip that we just played the two and a half minutes of. Maybe he just saw a Here's sound. The problem yeah, that he I probably, hate. He probably saw a sound bite. Or he read yeah, something. Said, Here's the problem that, that, the problem that I hate. Roman. Somebody might have sent it to him. He might have only heard a sound bite. But, you know, I never hear anything when I say, hey, Eric hitched his wagon to Hogan. He should have given it to Hall and Nash because they had the good ideas. They were the coolest thing in wrestling. Right. Their shirts are still set. I never hear anything about that. He <laughs> thinks somehow I buried him, okay? Right. Let me just say this. I love Kevin Nash. We've had our problems because, you know, I'm very temperamental. So is he, okay? But I thought we had squashed him. And he continues to think I'm burying him. And this other guy, Sean Oliver, who's been on this 15-year burying Conan tour, as I give because his opinion is as irrelevant as he is. He's a nobody. And my name is like, it's always in his mouth. He's always talking about me. And I don't give what you think, Sean. Wow. Kevin, I love you to death. But if you think I buried you, the only thing that I could construe that you would think I'm burying you, and you know I've always been opinionated, and I always will be opinionated. How long have you known me, Disco? Like 25 plus, right? Yeah. We've been together in Europe with Manus, we've been in TNA together, we've been in WCW together. When have you known me not to be outspoken? Never. Okay, and I'm not going to stop now. The only thing I said was I thought the finger poke of doom was If that was Nash's idea, hey, I'm sorry. And the second thing, please write this down, and I'm going to write it at the same time to see if you forget. When Eric is on here, because he did not give me a $250,000 raise, I don't even think he had the power to do that. So I'm going to ask Eric if he could have done that, because if he did, he did it without me knowing it. Okay. I got one raise and it was by Eric. And, I, and this is actually a conversation I had with Eric. I said, I'm not going to ask for how much money. I'm going to show you my worth and then you compensate me accordingly. And to Eric's uh, credit, he compensated me very well. I think he gave you too much. You don't know how much. Whatever it was. Yeah. I don't even know what it was, but I think it's too much. Right. Yeah, Keep but yeah, but you're definitely that. not burying Nash in that. Yeah, why would I, bro? Right? That was that, my boy. And so he, and, 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 and they and they were you, mad. They were mad. When X Pac got when X Pac got fired, they were like, this right. place, man. I'm not if, gonna help them anymore. Is if, that burying them? If Come you on. took out the part of Eric hitched himself to Hogan instead of Hall of Dash with the cool guys, and then they fired the X back. If you took all that out of this place, right. they took their brawl right, away from right. him as quick as right. I did. That's all he like, read or that's all like you buried him. Right. Like, if yeah. if you took exactly. out the part before, it makes no. right. So, no. all right. So, next one's so everything combo. in context, my brother, and I'm sure somebody is going to send this to you. Everything in context. Yeah, we'll read it all, YouTube. listen to it all. And, <laughs> and we have been inviting you on the show for over a year. I know your morning and all that. You can come here, we can discuss it, or I can go over there and we can discuss it. I'll face anything, anywhere, anytime. Boom. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh... Thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.